Okay, I got this hybrid stepper and controller set off of eBay. It's this the CL57T controller. The motor has an encoder on the back, and so it knows if it loses steps and it makes up for it. So I've got this hooked up as a position feeder so I can turn this around to turn that. I've got that hooked into the step and direction inputs. But the problem I found is it was not um, bailing on following air. See, if I push it against it, it... Oh, of course, my camera has to fall over. There. So, if I push this, see, it snaps back. It snaps back nice and good, but you want it, sometimes you want it to give up if it can't keep up. So like if your machine jams or something, and so you want to set the following air or the maximum, whatever. So what I had to do is create a cable, which I think you can buy the cable, but there's a serial plug right there. And I hooked it into a serial with a makeshift adapter. My pinning, this is the this is the pin numbers for the serial plug here, which are given in the in the PDF manual for this. It gives the pin numbers, and these are the corresponding pin numbers for the RS-232-9 pin. Then once you've got that hooked up, unfortunately it's a Windows software, but it's free. You can see, I go in here and I see the, the COM port. I run the software. This is this software is provided by the stepper motor manufacturer, or at least a vendor. It's automatically detected the COM part four. It detected all this, so I hit connect. And now I can go into parameter. And here's some other things. You don't want to mess with any of this unless you know what you're doing, which I don't. But this one right here, max allowed position error, is the one causes it to relax the motor and disable it if it can't maintain a position within this many counts. So I'm going to take and set that down to say 40 and hit enter. Oh, but before you get anything here you actually have to go click the read button and it reads it out, but I had this open previously so that's why it was all showing. And then when you're done you're going to want to say write to save it permanently to the thing. But, even if you don't click right, you can still try out a value. So I hit 40 like that and goes, and that actually instantly sent it over the serial part to the controller. And so now, see, we're still working. But if I take and pull this just a little bit, now it, now it, rel it, it held as hard as it could, but when I pulled it 40 counts away, then it relaxed. And then when you're testing, you can actually go into alarm here. Oops. Read the alarms. It shows you that it um, had a uh, position following. Let's see, what does that actually fully say? Yep, a position following error. So you can actually go hit clear. And then that turns the motor back on. Now it's solid again. And you'll notice then when the position following air see it takes some good force, but there, once I break it loose then it just goes loose. Now the power light and the down by the power light the air light starts blinking out codes to tell you that it's got a fault. And also the alarm output connects. So if you can theoretically hook that up so that if one unit faults out, it'll disable all the others. I haven't tried that yet, though. So anyway, that's that's what you have to do to get following air turned on or activated with a reasonable value on these units. You can also set the stepping the the steps per turn, and I don't know how accurate this is, but if you look on the chart here. 
there's you can set a bunch of different steps per turn here or you can set it to default by setting all four switches to on and what default means is it then lets you set the steps the micro step resolution right here anywhere from 200 steps per turn up to like I don't know it says you can set it up to this value but I couldn't get it to go that high but anyway um, so if you have the, the dip switches set to the default mode then you can set it in software but if you set it off of default then it just goes according to this table so if you want to set some step resolution not listed on this table just set the switches to the default position on 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 and then go into the software and set whatever micro step resolution you want so that's about it there's some other things you can do in here I'm not sure I understand all of it but some sort of I don't know if it has to do with helping you tune it or what but oh I see it's not moving because I've got an alarm I need to clear because I had faulted it out intentionally so go back to motion and then you can see you hit start and it runs back and forth and shows the the pattern I'm not sure see now I'm gonna do it again so like I don't know what it's showing exactly there but some sort of tuning parameters and that's about it